Hello everyone and welcome to Vianna Dance Mods. This is Otaku Showboat and today we will be discussing raw coal and oil sands. These are two of the ore processing setups that uh, are completely optional. These are completely optional on a standard Pi playthrough uh, at this point in time. Just as a point of order, Pi and Ons mods are in a constant state of flux and uh, this may change at some point. But as it stands right now, these are two optional processes and I would not recommend doing either of them. Just uh, to be clear, I do not recommend doing especially the later phases of raw coal and I don't really recommend oil sands all that much. I think it has a little bit more utility though than the raw coal at the moment and uh, of course things are going to change with the release of Pi Alien Life in the somewhat near future. Now as per usual do not forget to comment like subscribe uh, and hit the notification bell to help make this series appear higher up in the YouTube search results. You can do all the social stuff through the links in the, in the description below this video. You can support Pianodon at patreon.com slash Pianodon and myself at patreon.com slash Otaku Showboat. And be sure to leave in the comments any suggestions and uh, ideas for tutorials that uh, cover concepts that I have not really discussed in uh, detail. Uh, in the series thus far, because as it stands, this will be our final uh, tutorial video until after Pi Alien Life is both released and in a somewhat stable state uh, after going through its initial balance and fix passes. So, uh, you may notice I'm on a different map. This is just because I've started a new stream save uh, playthrough called Pi Anodon's on the rails and with that came an update with uh the clock mod uh i updated from version whatever point three to version whatever point seven now i think it was 17.3 and now it's point seven and uh you can't load games that were started with 17.3 with 17.7 and while i could go back to 17.3 I'd rather just make a new map for this. So, uh, I've made a new uh, map for the tutorial. We're going to actually start with the oil sands, uh, because this is a very... a much simpler overall process. Now, oil sands, uh, they look a little bit like this. They've got, like, a little rock in them. Black with a little rock. Uh, and these require oil sand extractors. Now, oil sand extractors... Uh, these are relatively easy to get. Uh, this is an early game item. You can get this at uh, Green Science uh, is when I would say the timing is on this just because you're probably not going to be doing Nexlet until after having obtained Green Science anyway. So all of this, I'd say just after Green Science, once you have some Nexlet, uh, is when you could start this if you are interested in doing this. Step one is to crush your oil sands into crushed oil sand uh, and stone. That much is fine. It's a 50% chance of producing stone. It's the next step here, the next two steps here, that'll be a little interesting. So, right. Uh, you're going to need to split your crushed sand between these next two steps. The first one is adding steam and water to give you a slurry, uh, and then you take the slurry, add more crushed oil sand uh, and pressured air to give you bitumen froth and tailings. The, bit the bitumen froth, or bitumen, however, however you want to pronounce it, I, I call it bitumen as in bituminous uh, oil, or coal, I should say. Bitumen, the froth needs naphtha and pressured air to make bitumen. So this converts naphtha, and this is the only recipe that uses the bitumen froth. So you need naphtha as an input to process oil sand 
into bitumen. Now, naphtha, there's a few ways of getting it. I would say maybe do crude into naphtha and BTX. This is actually a somewhat decent recipe. I mean, everything that uses BTX or everything that BTX is used for also requires a catalyst of some description. Uh, so it's not that great of a product compared to crude oil itself. But anyway, it's up to you. And you can get naphtha also straight from wood. Uh, it's a huge setup space-wise, but you can do wood into naphtha if you so desire. Uh, again, wouldn't really recommend that. But however you get your naphtha, you can make bitumen by adding the bitumen froth from your oil sand processing. Now, what can you do with bitumen? Uh, a few things. This is this is just an example. One, you can make shale oil out of bitumen by adding tin, chromium, alloy, and hydrogen. By the way, this is this is it. This is like the end uh, point. That is your oil shale processing. Uh, everything else is what you can do with your products with your bitumen. So you have a choice of shale oil here. Shale oil can be used for a number of things. Uh, if we look at, uh, I don't even know what the name of the uh, recipe is, but if I go in here and I look for the shale oil, shale oil can be made from coal and natural gas as well, which it, natural gas is just from standard crude oil uh, derricks. The, uh, the pie oil derricks can output natural gas instead of crude, uh, so bear that in mind as well. There are other ways of getting into shale oil, but shale oil, again, one of those things that needs a lot of catalysts uh, to do anything with, which uh, can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, it can go directly one-to-one -one into fuel oil if you so desire. I don't like using fuel oil. So just note that of the of the things that don't need an extra catalyst of some sort, that's one of them, uh, is the fuel oil, and the other is light oil. So you can actually do one-to-one -one into light oil by adding water and vacuum for your shale oil. So as a means of getting light oil, is, is that worth it? Maybe not. Uh, and you can't actually go back into naphtha, which why, why? It's like, okay, I'll make bitumen, throwing hydrogen at it to make shale oil, and then I'm just going to make naphtha to, to do what? Make more bitumen? <laughs> like, am I am I going in a, in a, in a circle here? No, nah, let's, let's not do that. Uh, let's, let's not do that. That sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, and then I don't see much of a reason to do the natural gas either here. So really... Some of these would be good, but no, just no, not, not Molly, not Molly, not Nickel. Next lit, eh, but there are other better ways to get methane. Nichrome is a hell no under any circumstance, so shale oil, maybe not the best of ideas. Now, Syngas. This is, this is a chain in and of itself. In order to turn your bitumen into syngas you have to make it into dirty syngas by adding oxygen and steam and then quench it with filtration media into purified flue gas as well as soot note the soot here soot actually has a purpose it can be used for lots of things uh, soot if we look this up you can turn soot into ores. This is a nice recipe. Aluminium, copper, gold. Gold, a 50% chance every 10. Silver, perhaps what it's better used for. Although, again, this is only a 30. There's a better chance to get gold out of soot than silver. I just, I'm just, I'm just gonna throw that out there. There is, at the moment, a better chance to get gold than silver out of soot, which doesn't make 
too much sense to me. But uh, anyway, uh, you can make it into very specific ore types. Zinc probably is the winner here uh, of all of these things, unless you want to uh, not have to mine as much copper or iron. I mean, aluminium, you don't need a lot of anyway, but yeah, that'd be a use for soot. The next step, by the way, purified plus water into hot also gives uh, some soot. So you have a couple of steps here that provide you uh, with soot that you can do whatever you want with. Uh, and then the hot, of course, will then get processed in a heat exchanger. This is the first time in my tutorials series that we have seen a heat exchanger that we have even remotely thought of using a heat exchanger. These are primarily used in the fusion energy stuff. I guess that's a tutorial series that I could potentially do, but uh, it's not worth doing. Uh, and uh, yeah, like un until fusion is worth doing, I don't see the point of making tutorials on it because my recommendation is simply don't do it. Th these processes are at least simple enough to explain to explain why uh, I don't recommend doing them. And this is this is by the way, this is all for just sin gas. Like this is this is a way of just converting basically this oil sand. Look look, look like outside of this all that to get sin gas at the end. Worth it? No. No. Not not in the slightest. Uh, is this ever going to be worth it for you to do? Now, so that's the oil sands. What about the rock hole? What about the rock hole? Where did I set up my rock hole? All the way up there. Let's go to the rock hole. So, rock hole is very complex. Uh, just to throw that out there, it's it's very complex. Get rid of all this stupid stuff in my way. The rock hole starts off okay. It starts off somewhat okay and very familiar to us uh, from other ore processing stuff. So rock hole, mine it as normal, makes rock hole. It starts with a secondary crusher to give you a crushed coal, which uses the same sprite as G1, grade 1 products uh, of the main ore types. It gives you coal, and it gives you coal dust. Coal and coal dust. Remember, the, that's that's sort of the uh, the end game here, is coal. That's, that's what we're looking for as uh, the main product of all of this. Now, that crushed coal, that G... <laughs> that G1, as I'll call it, you can just convert that into coal directly. You can, it's a three to five ratio, just convert the, uh, well, that's actually coarse coal. You need to actually get coarse coal first. So the crushed goes into coarse coal and dust, and then you can go up into coal, more coal. So automated screen, the crushed into coarse as well as coal and dust note 0.83 here this is a bit much so it's this would process uh, a bit a bit it's uh, three of these secondary crushers so seven and a half in to one of these to 6.25 and five yeah it's a it is going to give you more coal than what you mine for the for the rock hole, uh, especially since you can end up with basically coal and coal dust, and you'll have to figure out what you want to do with the coal dust. There's no like I I don't really consider coal dust to be a byproduct per se, but it is a product that you need to make sure that you're always doing something with, uh, and the main product here is coal now. This is as far as I would ever recommend going if you ever want to think about doing the uh, rock hole. And the reason for that is our next step, uh, which is the jig. The, the jig will take coarse coal with organic solvent and water. And it will give you fines pulp and high ash fines. 
Okay. Well, the high ash finds will become under pulp and slime overflow. We'll get to that. What about the other thing here? The uh, fines pulp. The fines pulp will become coal. It'll become coal. It will become coal, but it will also become tailings, high ash fines, and thickened coal fines. Well, the uh, thickened coal fines, I have to remember where those go. Where did those go again? Uh, over here. We're not there yet. So hold on to that thought on the thickened coal fines for now. The, uh, the high ash fines, uh, of course, uh, are going into here to give us our slime overflow and coal under pulp. Now, the coal under pulp that this will produce out of the high ash finds, uh, that's going to be converted into pulp 3, and we're going to hold on to that thought for a little bit of time, but note that this requires kerosene and sand uh, along with water. Kerosene, not an insignificant amount of kerosene, and not an insignificant amount of sand either. The slime overflow... You need to add industrial solvent, and it gives you refined syngas. Is this worth it? Maybe? Maybe. Uh, ignore the uh, icon here, refined in. No, this is a uh, coal slime overflow with industrial solvent. I mean, at that ratio of solvent to refined... Maybe that's worth it, because uh, industrial solvent itself uh, requires organic soda ash and syngas to make. So you're spending these three things, basically, to get refined syngas. There are better ways to get refined syngas. Maybe you just void the uh, slime overflow there. Just, uh, just a thought, if you are doing this process. Okay. So, noting that we have a coal pulp 3, and at this point, a uh, thickened coal fine that we don't have anything to do with, let's process the thickened coal fine uh, by adding water to it. We get pyrite out of this, uh, along with coal fines and more high ash fines. So, remember the high ash fines? That's going to loop all the way back all the way back into here for more of this stuff uh that'll feed into more pulp three just pointing that out well what about these uh coal fines well coal fines if you add more kerosene will become conditioned fines plus tailings well what are we going to do with the conditioned fines the conditioned fines will become pulp one and two or it'll become pulp, yeah, one and two, uh, if you add xylenol. For reference, xylenol is a little bit of a pain in the rear uh, to get, uh, and it's used specifically in uh, a couple of the other ore processing processes. Uh, I think it's nickel and iron use xylenol. Uh, yes, it is nickel and iron that use xylenol uh, with the coal processing, the raw coal processing here. So xylenol is not cheap to make, just to put that idea out there uh, inherently. You're in, uh, you need a lot of nickel, uh, so I would highly suggest uh, keeping all of your xylenol production that's not being used for iron and use all of it for nickel. Uh, you, and make it just for nickel, and I would not really suggest doing this here, because remember what our primary outputs are. Remember what our primary outputs are. Coal. And, like, coal dust. All of this for coal. Okay, so, this will give us pulp 1 and 2 and tailings. 
Now, there is a recipe that takes your pulp one and just makes coal out of pulp one by using some biofilm. So, note that this exists, but then what are you going to do with your pulp two? Like, what what do you what do you do with pulp two? Now, pulp two, you well actually this is fully intended. This is fully intended. This is what you do with your pulp one. Pulp one, you don't do anything with outside of this. Pulp 2, you don't do anything with outside of this, which is add slacked lime uh, and pressured air to give you another step that gives you pyrite, uh, along with more high ash vines that will go into Pulp 3, remember, uh, and more conditioned vines, which loops back to give you more Pulp 1 and 2. So, okay, we've got conditioned finds feeding back more pulp 1 and 2, uh, and uh, that is it. We don't get any anything other than pyrite out of this at a 40% chance uh, for the pyrite. Uh, and, of course, any pulp 1 we get goes into coal directly. So, as I said, with, with this giving us high ash finds, that feeds all the way back into our coal under pulp, which gives us our beautiful and wonderful pulp three. So everything leads into the scrubbers giving us pulp three at the cost of kerosene. Just to, just to make that point clear, pulp three. Hey, it's pyrite. Gee, I wonder if there's a ratio to the pyrite that's produced out of this previous step that gets used here. Huh, I wonder. Anyway, pyrite will get used here with water to process pulp 3 into pulp 4. It gives you ash in this process and tailings that you need to deal with as well. The pulp 4, if you add methanol and pressured air will give you coal and pulp 5. Hey, finally, a bit a bit more coal here. And then the last step. Uh, pulp 5 will give you coal and pulp 4. Pulp 4 into 5, 5 into 4. Yes, that's right. So this also loops on itself consuming more methanol consuming more tar here because this uses tar at least that's easy enough but guess what makes tar coal <laughs> coal makes tar so yes this is a very complex system uh it is divided into several pieces based off of tech so if I go down and I find raw coal processing, uh, the entire process from the conditioned finds, actually, heck, processing high ash finds uh, and making the refined syngas, all of that doesn't even happen until utility science anyway. Why would you do this at utility science? And all all of these pulps as well. It's like why why would you do that at utility at utility science? And like okay, at blue science we get uh, our coarse coal into fines pulp and high ash fines, and then fines pulp into coal and high ash fines. We we can do nothing with the high ash fines until utility science. So why would you do this at blue science? Why would you do this at Blue Science when you have nothing to do with your high ash finds? And then going further back here, you have to wait until Green Science before you can actually make coarse coal from your crushed. Well, okay, at least with the crushed coal, it has a uh, fuel value, so you can actually use crushed coal uh, directly. You can't necessarily use these high ash finds unless they have a fuel value which they might now rock hole one gives you like pyrite recipes from 
iron oxide, which is odd. It's like, what does that have to do with anything? It doesn't. Uh, and then you get the crushed coal, coal, coal dust at the very start. So yeah, this whole chain is like utter nonsense. Like the most you'll do through the entire game, the most you'll do through the entire game is this. Because anything after that, like, okay, I can do the next half of the steps. Like I can, I can do this and I can do this to give a little bit more coal, but then I have to deal with all of the uh, high ash finds and the thickened coal finds, because you can't do anything with the thickened coal finds yet. So it's like, uh, excuse me? But yeah, that, that makes no sense. The whole tech makes no sense, uh, the sequence of events, because this is like, all one process there's no stopping point there's no good stopping point after that let's look at high ash finds real quick the uh the high ash finds do they have a fuel value uh i don't think so no they they don't have a fuel value unlike Kerosene, which has a fuel value 1.5 megajoules. Not the uh, high ash finds. Which is unfortunate, because that means you just have to avoid it if you do the green, like the, the blue science stuff. So you're stuck at green science, basically, until yellow, and by the time you're at yellow science, you're done with the game. So, yeah, this becomes completely superfluous. Completely superfluous after, uh, like, by the time you really get access to it. And what does it ultimately give you? Coal. Just coal. You know, it's it's just coal. That's all, that's all you get. Well, might I posit two alternative methods of getting coal that don't involve mining raw coal. The, those methods include... These. 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 I think. I think. Uh, and, uh, yeah, lots of high-pressure furnaces. HPFs. Uh, I don't, I don't actually think DDCs, but, yeah, so. Mushrooms. High-pressure furnaces. Where for art thou? Here. Ta-da! Coal! From water. Coal? From water. Now, Pi Alien Life is going to change that, so this is why I'm bringing up the uh, concept of botanical nursery into into wood. Uh, this is the best uh, botanical nursery recipe for reference, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the one into, into wood. Uh, it's two to one, I think. Something like that. Close enough. To make wood, and then, guess what? There is totally... Is it in here, or is it not? I don't think it's you. I think it's... I think it's you. Excuse me. There is a wood to coal. Yes, wood to coal. Now, the ratio here... Two wood per coal versus not two to one there. Eight to ten, or eight from ten, which is five to two, or five to four, five to four. Five to four versus two to one. 
So not as great of a ratio there. Bear in mind that, you know, modules can't use productivity on that recipe, can't use productivity on that recipe. Currently, I might change that in my mod, but yeah, anyway. We can do uh, speed, though, which is rather important. This will use currently, I think, more speed base overall. Granted, you now do have module slots available in the botanical nurseries, so that helps uh, on the space savings. I think technically this process is maybe a bit better than the mushrooms these days because of the module slots here, but anyway, there are two methods of getting coal that are completely biotic, just straight from water. Uh, this will change with alien life. This will basically stay the same and will be required and will be your method uh, of getting an infinite supply of coal. Making this entire process and this entire ore type completely superfluous. You don't need to do it at all. It You don't need to. It's just just don't do it just don't do it if you if you have a raw coal patch and you want to mine raw coal and you're at green science this is it right here you're done you're done with this process that's all that you need is just this ignore like this whole set of stuff this does not exist to you and it never will this, this would be the only thing uh, to make the best use of raw coal, but I'd say just, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. It's pointless. It's pointless. Completely pointless when these other two things exist that are much superior to that. Uh, and then similarly, down here with the oil sands, the, uh, the mining drills are ginormous. The amount of st like the things that you can do with it are like not ideal most of it uses uh catalysts uh of what you can do with it of the bitumen uh and it needs naphtha so it's like well good luck getting the naphtha for it to to make your bitumen why why would you why would you spend crude oil to make naphtha and btx when both of them basically only ever make stuff that needs catalysts to make and there's alternative recipes for the most part that don't use catalysts for a lot of these things so it's like yeah these are these are these are options yes they're options but they're not good options uh mo the vast majority of the time uh so yeah that's that's my thoughts rock hole and oil sands uh with that uh, i would like to thank you all for watching we have reached the end uh, for the video overview today of these two processes. Uh, this has been a talk to show about. If you have enjoyed the video today, do not forget to comment, like, subscribe to the notification bell. And if you are so inclined, come on over and uh, leave a follow on the uh, on the Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash talk to show about, uh, because I am doing more Panadon's content every Sunday and Tuesday. Uh, over there, I am doing a rails map uh, at the moment, uh, as of this recording, uh, for this video. Uh, and the day that this video goes up is also my birthday, so make sure that if you have reached the end, uh, that you know uh, that uh, it was my birthday today, 22nd of December. Uh, just just as a, as a point of note. Uh, so yeah, again, thank you all for watching. This uh, will probably be the end of our tutorials for now. Uh, remember that I said I'm not really keen on doing a uh, tutorial on the fusion energy process because it's not really worth doing and is very overly complex. So outside of that, if you have any thoughts on what uh, types of... Uh, processes you would like to see what processes you would like to have additional overviews of uh just let me know in the comments so that i can uh, take some notes and maybe we'll meet again a little bit sooner than pilot in life but uh 
we shall see. Uh, until the next time we meet, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.